Hi, my name is Cosmo K. I am the son of Andre Bailey K, which, if you don't know me and you aren't following our Facebook page, support Andre Bailey K, you probably don't know who that is. Andre Bailey K is the woman who adopted six children from the United States after already having given birth to two, um, and then after that, um, traveled the world trying to give her children a better education. Um, and what she called the gratitude tour, where we would go, every place we would go, we would do some small service, some something to help someone, whether it was donating to some homeless person, or feeding someone, or anything like that. Um, in the last country that we resided in, where we were going to start an NGO to called the Bohemian Habitat, in order to help displaced children or orphans, um, give them a home and help them get an education where they otherwise couldn't. Um, a couple of days before we were to file the paperwork, uh, my two brothers, Tig and Tavish, um, ran away for fun, they told us. And um, when they were found six days later, the police arrested my mom with no evidence except my except a bruise on my brother's leg that they said was that they said was the uh, five days after that, my mother was sentenced to prison again with no evidence. For a month, my mom was put in the woman's prison. As I worked uh, outside of the prison trying to get her out, we worked for the appeal. The rest of my, my four other siblings were put in my temporary custody, as the police made very clear. I finally was allowed to see her in prison once a week. Um, the police refused to take any of my or my siblings' statements so that I could prove her innocence. They, they, have no, they had no evidence, and yet they continued to keep her in prison. Um, finally, I was we were able to get her out on an appeal a month ago, where she was put on house arrest. After that, my, my siblings and I uh, unfortunately had to flee the country because the police were, well, intimidating us. And it was, they weren't the first people. Uh, we were intimidated in many forms. Tra people tried to extort us for money, especially people that, especially people from the government. Our own lawyer, who said she was private, was actually working with the prosecutor. And when I refused to give her a large sum of money, threatened to take away my siblings and put me in prison, like my mother. Um, finally, we were able to get a good lawyer who ended up getting my mother out of prison. And now my siblings and I are back in the United States. The physical, the mental aspect of this is so bad. My mother adopted six children who had, who had developmental difficulties or behavioral difficulties. Uh, she specialized in this when she did foster care. Um, my siblings relied on, on my mother's, on my mother's wisdom, her, her teaching, her, her everything. My mother devoted her life to children, to, to bettering them, to educating them, giving them a home. She, she always wanted the best for her kids. And Albania, she is now under investigation, they call it, although an investigation would actually, they, they have no evidence. There, there's no evidence as to my mother being guilty of anything. They have made up false reports that aren't even possible. They have tried. They have tr threatened her. They have done about anything they could to try and scare her into pleading guilty. We don't know exactly what happens now. Um, the unfairness of the situation is ridiculous. My, I have to console my siblings now because of the just the situation that they've been put in because of a corrupt government. A government that refuses to pay attention. In Albania, the elections were recently held, and the Prime Minister said how he wanted to get rid of corruption. And yet here, right under his very nose, there is this happening to a foreigner. I, uh, we have tried to, we have sent this to every journalist, to every news station in Albania. We have sent them to news stations in the United States. No one will pay attention to this story. The world says how it hates corruption, and yet here it is, looking at it straight in the face and ignoring it. Now we're waiting, now we're waiting, because 
It is August, and apparently in August it is the time for all the prosecutors and people in, in the justice system to take a month and a half long vacation. I have never heard of this before, but apparently that's what they do in Albania because they've worked so hard at putting innocent people in prison during the rest of the year that they need a very long vacation after having done absolutely nothing the rest of the year. My siblings have been distraught over this situation. They have... They, I try to explain to my youngest brother, Fox, why... I try to explain to my youngest brother why, why they've done this, and I, I don't have an answer to him. I have... I, I just don't know. Nobody knows. There is no reason for this. Please spread this across the media. Tell anyone you can. Share this video. Um, tell anybody about the case. We have a Facebook page. Support Andrea Bailey K on Facebook. Um, we have also have a GoFundMe. You can find that in the link on the description of the GoFund of the Facebook page. Please share. Thank you. Bye.